Hello friends, Namaskar. As most of us may be aware that the GST number or GST registration number if obtained by a person would be certainly connected to his or her PAN. So therefore, PAN is a very important document for obtaining GST. In this connection, recently I came across an issue wherein what has happened that one of my friend's relative has received a notice from income tax department wherein income tax department has asked him that okay, Mr. So and so, you have undertaken GST transaction say worth crores of rupees but you have not filed return of income. Tell us what, is the, what are the reasons for the same. So this prompted me to immediately understand and he could also make out that his PAN has been misused by somebody for obtaining a GST number and maybe probably issuing the GST invoices for claiming some GST inputs etc. So this is a kind of fraud. Now this fraud kind of situation has prompted me to come out with this video so that I can explain to the public at large as to how they can find out that whether their PAN has been misused for GST purposes and they can also regularly check online that whether their PAN is safe and it has not been used for GST purposes by somebody fraudulently. So through this video, you may be able to know that how to check this status online and be safe in terms of your PAN not being used for GST purposes without your permission, without your knowledge. To begin with my dear friends, I would suggest that please visit at www.gst.gov.inside through your browser and once you will click here, then you will find that there is Government of India GST site, wherein certain option home services, GST law, download cert, taxpayer, help and taxpayer facilities, e-invoice, etc. would be available. What I am suggesting you, you have to go here, that is search taxpayer option. Once you click at search taxpayer option, you will find the other tabs which are available, search by GSTIN, search by PAN, search temporary ID and search composition taxpayer. My suggestion to you is that you will click at search by pan. This will prompt you uh, and this will show you a next window. In this next window, you have to insert the permanent account number and then you have to click at this option that is search. Now here you have to insert the relevant pan number of yours or your relative or your friend for whomsoever you want to find out that whether his or her PAN has been used for GST purposes or not. So you will fill up the PAN details here. After filling up the PAN details, then you will find that there is a type of, uh, then you have to fill in the CAPTCHA code, then you have to again click at the search option. So after inserting your PAN and then filling up the CAPTCHA and then clicking at the search option, the search result for your PAN would be given and in this particular uh, case wherein I have say filled up my own PAN, I found no records found. No records found means that for this particular PAN wherein I am taking an example, there is no GST number obtained by anybody. Primarily it has to be obtained by me only and it should be with my knowledge, my permission only. But sometime what happens and in this fraudulent case which I discussed with you in beginning, what happened to the surprise of the assessee? That when the assessee clicked at PAN number, has given the CAPTCHA, has put up the search option, click yes. Then at the later portion, the assessee got search result based on PAN so and so. There was a GSTIN and the status of that GSTIN was active at which state it has been obtained say as at Rajasthan. So this was totally surprising for the SSE that he or she did not apply for the PAN at all and for the GST at all but they were holding a PAN number and unfortunately they got to know that there is a GST connected to their PAN. So this is something which is really a fraud and which a kind of creates an alarming position for the SSE to know that how it can happen that without you applying for the GST, there is a GST number. So this is something really very surprising to the assessee. One more option my dear friends through which you can find out that whether there is a 
PAN being used for GST purposes, when you go to your income tax portal and in income tax portal through your income tax login, you go to the page of 26 years. In 26 years, there is an option that is part H. This part H contains the detail of turnover as per GSTR 3B. So suppose if there is a uh, GST which is linked to your PAN, then you will find that GSTI and air and you will also find if any returns are filed with that GST number, then you can say that, okay, whether uh, I was thinking that there is a, a GST which is obtained on my PAN, if it is within your knowledge domain, then no problem. But if it is without your knowledge, it's really alarming and surprising for you. A very important point in my opinion, which one is a better mode to find out? that whether your PAN is linked to a GST. In my opinion, the first one which I discussed with you is more authentic way because there you are directly going to the GST portal to find out that whether any GST number has been obtained on your PAN or not. At the end, my dear friends, I must say that this is really a fraud that if somebody uses your PAN for obtaining a GST and such kind of actions are done basically to cut GST invoices which may provide GST credit to somebody and it's really a big fraud. So if you come into the knowledge of such kind of fraud, what you should do primarily in my opinion, you should immediately report in kind of FIR to the nearest police station that your PAN has been misused by somebody for obtaining a GST and then may, maybe probably making transactions thereon. And not only that, you should also intimate to the GST department that I have not done any transaction, but unfortunately there appears that somebody has misused your PAN. One more suggestion which I would like to give here that there are certain PANs which are inactive within our family, like for senior citizen or for those who are not income earning member that they have obtained a PAN, but they are not working on them. So those which are with active PAN, probably they regularly check up this kind of status at least through 26 years. But, but those which are not active PAN or not active users of their PAN, probably this kind of probability is on a higher side. So one has to be attentive as to his or her PAN is not used for GST manipulation, for creating any GST frauds. And I hope you found this video successful in terms of communi communicating this message to you. So thank you very much for being with me. Wishing you all the best. Jai.